Learn stuff. Yeah. Hey, it's Greg. And today we're talking about the settings you need to change in Zoom to make your singing, your guitar playing, or your DJ event sound as good as it can. If you've tried to do it already, you may have noticed it doesn't sound that great with the default settings. That's because the default settings support good, clear communication, talking. It's not great for musical instruments or musical waveforms or whatever. So let's talk about the settings that you have to change so that you can perform the best, sound the best you can in Zoom. Okay, here we are. Let's open up Zoom. And make sure you're on at least version 5.6.5 or later. Let's start a new meeting. And there I am. You can see my webcam is on. And let's have a look at our audio settings. So down bottom you have video options here and audio options, of course. We'll keep it muted for now, but you can unmute here, of course. And just to the right, there is a arrow pointing up. Here you can see that I've selected my Mackie Pro FX as the microphone and as the speaker. That's an external USB mixer that I'm using. Makes a big difference to performing and getting a good sound into your computer and out of your computer. I have a video that talks about that as well. If you want, there's probably a card for that for you to check on here or at the end of the video. But I've got both the Pro FX selected for microphone and speaker. You may be selecting a webcam or something else you may have connected to your computer. But we'll talk about that in another video. Let's talk about the audio settings. So down bottom, you want to click on the audio settings tab. And you can see that you've got options for testing and you also have the options to change your microphone and speaker choices in here as well. But the very first thing we want to do is turn off automatic microphone volume. We don't want Zoom to change the sensitivity of my microphone um, software based wise. We don't want to mess with the level of my microphone or the level going into Zoom. We want it to be consistent so we can have dynamics in our music and have quiet moments and loud moments. So turn this off. You don't want that. As soon as that's off, what that means is you now can manually select it. And as you can see, if it's down at the bottom, I get nothing from my Rode Podcaster mic here. If I turn it up, you can see more level. Now, if you need the level, it's okay to go right to the top. That's no problem. But you want to make sure this level is, uh, you know, 75, three quarters of the way up. Um, and leave yourself some headroom in case there's a louder moment. Uh, so you can adjust this accordingly, but mine's right to the top for this microphone, and that's probably fine. Feel free to turn it down, but it won't change on you. Keep that turned off. You are in control of the volume level, not zoom. It's important for music. Number two, suppressing background noise. The processing involved in getting rid of background noise, like a, a heater or a fan, uh, or the furnace in your house, uh, whatever you're hearing, that processing will scramble the sound of your guitar or your singing voice. It's a bad idea. We want it to be as low as possible. They don't allow you to turn it off all the way, but um, we want it to go to at least low. And this is what Zoom recommends as the setting for any kind of musical singing or performing. So set that to low, and we're moving on from there. Next, this is a fairly new addition. Uh, but with all the musical performance that's happening on Zoom, uh, they've added this in recent versions. So let's turn this on. Show the in-meeting option to enable original sound. Turn that on. And this opens up some settings that are great for musicians and for high fidelity music. So original sound will be a button that will appear up here now that I've turned it on in the call. And you'll want to remember to turn that on whenever you're doing a, a musical performance uh, Zoom meeting or call. So yes, we want high fidelity music mode, definitely. Echo cancellation, definitely not. Now, there are times when you're going to want a high quality music mode and have echo cancellation on, but that's usually when you aren't using any kind of special microphones or headphones. Basically, if you don't have echo cancellation on, you should probably be wearing headphones. Um, even if you're just using the built-in mic in your laptop or your cell phone, which is not ideal, but at least use headphones, okay? Um, so we don't want echo cancellation on because I've got a good quality mic and a good quality USB um, USB mixer sort of interface. So I'm definitely going to leave echo cancellation off and I'll probably would wear headphones if I was doing a performance. 
Stereo audio, you can do a perfectly good performance with mono, um, but with stereo audio, you will have potentially a richer sound if you're using effects or something like that, if you could pan instruments left and right. Uh, but it does put a little bit more pressure not only on your computer, but on the computer of people that are listening on the other end. But you can give it a shot. And if people uh, and their computers can handle it, great, turn it on. But if uh, you keep it off, it'll just be a mono performance. Uh, we'll turn it on for now because we're going full out uh, high quality music, turn on all the bells and whistles if we can. All right, so that's the majority of it. One more little thing to look at. Um, you'll see that uh, down bottom there's a advanced button. We'll just click on that just to look in here. And you'll see signal processing by Windows audio device drivers. And there's two options, auto and well, on and off and auto. And then echo cancellation in general. Now the only options for echo cancellation are auto and aggressive. We definitely don't want aggressive echo cancellation. We'll leave it on auto with the understanding that we've got echo cancellation set to be turned off completely when we use the original sound mode, which we've turned on. Okay, so not a big deal, but it's good to leave it on auto. Definitely check, make sure it's not on aggressive. Um, this last one, signal processing by Windows audio device drivers. This is a relatively new addition. There's some confusion as to what it does per se. Um, I can't give you a definitive use it or don't use it. I would experiment, but here's the thing. If you're using a high quality interface like a Mackie Pro FX 6 or um, a, uh, what are they called? A Focusrite unit or um, some kind of uh, audio interface that is of a higher quality than just a mic built into a laptop, you can definitely consider to turn it to raw and see how it works. Test it, call your friend, use a high quality interface like a little, um, mixer or something like that with a USB jack, set it to raw and see if your friend on the other end experiences a quality difference. But leaving it on auto, we'll leave it up to Zoom, your choice. Give it a shot, test it, see how it works. It's a little new. I would try raw. I'm excited to try the raw setting with my mixer to see um, how it works and if it improves the quality overall. We'll leave it to auto for now. So that's mostly all the settings you need uh, to uh, use Zoom for singing or DJ music playback or playing your guitar or your saxophone, whatever you're into, um, those are the settings. So we'll just uh, come out of that. They're all set and ready to go. We'll shut that down. And then you'll see here that you want to turn on original sound. Okay, now you see, again, there's a little drop down arrow here where you can select your microphone to always use original sound. You can do that if you want. Uh, but there may be times when you don't want to use original sound. If you're just calling your friend or your family member, you want to not use original sound. You just want to use regular mode for conversation. So when you're doing a song or performance, click, turn it on. It says on. You're doing your performing, you're singing, you're strumming. Your guitar won't sound weird anymore. Your singing will sound better. Your instruments, your musical playback will all sound better. Turn it off when you're calling your friend somewhere else in the world, and then any echo you may hear when you're having a conversation uh, gets canceled. If there's any background noise, it might get removed. Um, and that's what it's for. That's the difference, right? Are you having a conversation or are you performing music? These are completely different waveforms. And we've set it up so that you can choose to call your grandma or perform with your guitar or do a DJ show or sing, whatever. Okay, so those are the basic settings. Uh, what's next? is to talk about uh, the kinds of devices you're using and how to use the hardware like microphones, mixers, and headphones to assist uh, with these settings and in combination get the best possible online performance experience for your audience that you can possibly get. I hope that helps. If you, uh, you know, want to subscribe, please do leave a comment. I love it. I um, uh, love to hear the comments and, uh, and answer questions. And please consider subscribing to Greg in the Box. Every little bit helps. Um, see you next time. Learn stuff. Yeah.